everybody. So, uh, figured I'll make a little video to show you guys how to run multiple Android systems on one PC. So as you can see right now, I have four Android systems running right now on this one screen. Um, I've actually never tried a lot of these. Well, actually just one of them. And that is Roblox. Um, I don't, I don't know what's going on with that, but this is Roblox right here. Then I have Clash of Clans up here. I have Deck Heroes right here. And I also have Pandora Music right here. Now I'm not going to click play because copyright's bullshit. But anyways, um, they run fantastic. Um, you can also adjust the size to however you need it. So say I want this one maximized for the time being. Bam. Right there. And as you can see, I haven't played, a, played in a while. Everything's empty. I'm almost out of resources, all that. But yeah, you got that. And you can also change the size as well, whatever size you want. Then you have Deck Heroes. Uh, I just made this account. I actually do play this game on my phone, but very fun game. But yeah, it, it works perfectly. As you can see. And it plays nice and smooth. I can't fast forward it because I'm not a high enough level, but you know, it, it, it runs great. So anyways, let me minimize that. Roblox, I don't know what's going on with that, but I'll just go home, <clears throat> change it to the other way. Do not, if you play Pokemon Shuffle, do not do it on your computer because you can only have one account you know, per device. So if you transfer your account to this, it will be on that, and that's it. Um, so I'm not going to switch over to that. So Enter a nickname. That actually worked. That's awesome. Anyways, as you can see, wow, the rest is still playing. Um, go here, you know, and just do whatever. And uh, these are, they are not rooted right to begin with. You can root them. I'm going to give you the full step-by-step -step procedure. Let's get right fucking into it. How about that, huh? So let me just exit all these out. Yes, yes. Close current window. Close current window. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is go to this website. It's uh, en bignox.com backslash blog. I'll link it in the description. Um, that just brings you to their website. All right. And you click download now. When you click download now, it instantly starts a download. I already have it. Don't need the download. So you're going to download that. You're going to go through the full installation, you know, step by step. Simple. So after that, you're going to give, you're going to be given Knox. All right. So it takes a few seconds to load up. So, just got to be patient with it. There we go. Okay, so right off the bat, you know, you're not going to have these icons. You got to obviously install all your apps. It's going to have the Play Store. Well, you actually, this one should have the Play Store on it to begin with. Now I'm kind of curious, so I'm going to start a new one. But before I do that, uh, let me open that back up. What you want to do is click multiplayer. Um, you actually might already have it. Um, basically, what it's going to be, if you don't, if it doesn't show up already, it's called multi drive. If it doesn't, you want to click that, and it will give it to you. All right. Now. What you want to do, I'm just going to exit this out, is open up multi drive, and you'll have and you can add more. Just you can click what account or whatever. Just do raw for a new one. Hit add emulator. It's going to take some time to unlock it, and we're going to and I'm going to start off with a fresh Android emulator. 
So once it says finish unlocking, you can hit start. And it's going to start everything up, which actually isn't that long considering how long, you know, it takes a tablet or a smartphone to load up, you know, so you can't really go wrong with that. Um, this is kind of, you know, the same as BlueStacks in a sense. It's an Android emulator you can use on your Windows platform. Uh, I personally like Knox more because you can run more of them. Uh, you have more settings and uh, <clears throat> you can get more uses out of it than uh, BlueStacks. This is completely free, by the way. All right, so you're in here. And uh, if you go to System Settings, it's this right here. You, it'll bring up your settings. You can update your system, already the latest version. So if you go over to Advanced, you can actually set the uh, performance setting, low, middle, high, or custom. If you do with the high, that's basically saying you're, you have a four core and you can actually put how much RAM you want to give each Android system. Now, don't get no, don't make like four of them and give them all like six gigabytes of RAM and only have eight gigabytes on your computer. It's not going to work. I have 16 gigabytes on this. I'm using the one. I think they're. Uh, I think they're all using like two gigs of RAM each. So when I'm running four of them, that's two, four, six. That's eight gigabytes of RAM. When I'm running four at the same time, um, you can also change right here. Um, startup setting you can have it set up as a, t a tablet a phone or custom basically a screen size resolution stuff like that under properties you can change a manufacturer the model number to literally whatever you want like manufacturer game junkie um, test and you can even give it a phone number if you want save changes and you'll have to restart it, but then it will always come up as your manufacturer of your devices, whatever you type in, as well as your model number. Uh, it gives you, uh, you can change your shortcuts for basically, you know, whatever you want. And the interface, this is basically uh, everything within it. Um, as you can see, absolutely everything. You can add an EP, yeah, EPK. APK file if you want to it uh, reboot Android controller you can controller configuration all of that you can set in there uh, so I mean it's really nice and I forgot to mention right here um, you can root it right off the bat it's reboot and it's gonna be rooted done deal So if you have any apps that you want to run that require a rooted device, right here. Um, I have actually a few games where they can sync with multiple devices through your Google account, but they're offline games per se for the most part. So you can actually use a hex editor, max out all of your in-game currency, upload it to the cloud, and then load it up on your phone. And to do that, you need a rooted device. So you can basically, well, you can open up the game here, change all, you know, change all your in-game currency with a hex editor or whatever you want to cheat on the game, max all of your money out, upload it to the cloud, load the game back up with your Google account on your phone that's not rooted if you don't have a rooted phone, and you're good to go. Easy. All right, so now, right now, we have a rooted Android device um, so one thing that I noticed which is a little weird is there's no app button here at all which is kind of weird to f to go into your apps so basically uh, we'll just uh, do new we'll make a new one uh, first name game um Game Junkie you. YTube. Why not? We'll see if that's available. There we go. Um, I'm not going to really use this so you guys can easily have all the information. Um, 
Y2 bitch. Y2 bitch. Not now. No. No. I accept. I probably will just blur it out anyway. I don't know. No, no. Oh, there it is. Skip. Uh, yes, I accept. So let's go to super user. For super user, you need to be rooted. So we'll just do this one. Install. Accept. And it actually gives you notifications at the bottom of the right. You can't see because I'm blocking where it says it, but it's actually telling me that it's, oh, there we go, successfully installed super user. Scroll down, click that, okay, and you can temper, you know, standard super user stuff. Um, so now that, you know, I have super user in here, I can actually show you that it is rooted. Actually, I'll download a root application. What? I don't remember the password already. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Just fucking. Do you seriously need a phone? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, wow. So it's gonna it's gonna do me like this. Okay, I'm actually gonna sign in. You know what? I'll exit out of this. Yes, and Yes, quit. And I'll just open up this one, my actual one of my actual ones. And uh, yeah, I'll just show you uh, that it is rooted, you can do rooted applications on it. Um, I just got to think of a good root application that you need a root for. Um, hmm. You know what, we'll just go into the Play Store and type in root, not rooter, just root, see what comes up. And as you can see, I'm actually using my mouse to scroll up and down, which is really nice. So yeah, these are all different. It's just typing in root. Uh, no sense of trying to overclock something that's already, you know, plenty fast enough. go with this one but you know it's entertainment it's for um, what's the word Ed educational purposes only um, Spotify God, I hate when it does this. There we go. Alright, so let's see if we can find the mod. Uh, we'll try this one. I do not condone this by any means. If I can even get it to work, because there's so much just bullshit with it, it's not even funny.
starting download. Download complete. Next. Next. Open. Log in. I'm going to blur this out. And it's probably going to be silent, but tap is all up three days grace. Do a human. Boom. Well, actually, if I just play short, short bits, I can't get hit. As you can hear, it's working for every single one. And for this mod, for Spotify, you need to be rooted. Um, I'll actually download another one real quick. I don't know if it's on the Play Store. Probably not. Uh, I'll download that uh, Hex Editor. I personally think works great. I don't know what that one is. It looks a little goofy, so I'm going to say no to that. This is the one. file does not exist so we're going to go back anyways as you can see it works with root um, you can run multiple with their multi drive you know it'll take a little bit but you know what I'll start all five of mine So it'll take a little bit because they're all starting together. So it's going to take a while. But, you know, if you have something running that you want to play multiple games at once or you want to run multiple characters like Clash of Clans, you know, say you have like four or five different accounts, you can run all five accounts at the same time. Um, you can also, you know, use the tapper program, you know, that requires a root and basically have it tap the screen so you won't get logged off is quick um, you know or any other purpose for having multiple or just one an Android emulator this thing works fantastic I've had a lot of problems with BlueStack just running in general um, and the fact that you can be rooted is just fantastic now if you look here we got one right here two three four Five. So yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Um, if you guys have any questions at all about this, feel free to let me know. I'll gladly make another video on it or help you guys out. Um, it's a very simple program to use. Of course, it has some hiccups, but it's it's an Android emulator. Android operating operating systems have hiccups. But uh, yeah, so that's how you can run multiple at once. Easy route. You don't have to jump through hoops. You can basically do whatever the hell you want with it. I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time.